did I do this weekend? Well, went to the city, saw a movie, had dinner. Not much else, really. To an adult, this kind of weekend is uneventful, average, boring to listen to. Nothing you would write a book about. But to a child, this kind of outing is a, a fu fucking adventure. adventure. Cinema, dinner, sheep. Years from now, you'll be talking about the roadside livestock you saw. Poets will write songs about the rest stop bathrooms. No one will forget the time your dad parked the car in the parking garage. Let me explain. As a child, the world around you was an abstract mess of esoteric laws and hidden meanings. You stood confused by customs and principles. You didn't fully understand why your parents woke you up at dawn to get in a car and drive four hours to some place you've never heard of. But you went along with such crazy ideas. Was it because you trusted your parents, or were you merely adventurous at heart? I've got a book here that perfectly captures that feeling of childlike wonder. But be warned, there will be sheep. Say there's no beginning, I say you're wrong. This trip is never ending, it won't be long. This is Round Trip by Anjonas. Or as some of us confused children call it, Round Trip Anjonas. I used to read this book all the time. Let me rephrase that. I used to look at this book all the time. He came for the pictures, not the sparkling narrative. But I haven't looked at it in a long time, so as usual, my opinions are rather fresh. This book was published by Mulberry Books, who want to remind you of the Caldecott Medal. I can't properly summarize this book very well, so I'll just read you the back description. This book isn't just the story of a round trip, it is a round trip. Read forward and look at the sights. Then flip the book over to see something different on the way back. And Jonas's amazing two-way trip is guaranteed to change the way you look at things. Man, this book was $3.95. Things were cheap in the 80s. Well, I've never done a book review before, so I'll just start with page one. Copyright 1983 by Ann Jonas. All rights reserved. No part of this book may be reproduced or utilized in any form or by any means, electronic or mechanical. We'll just ignore that part and go on to the actual story now. We started out as soon as it was light. Once ends in and already I have a headache. The stark contrast is just too much to absorb. How would you like it if every one of my episodes looked like this? Hey, this is kinda cool. What else can we do? Ooh, I like that even better. How about... Alright, I have an actual review to do. Alright, knock it off. It's reading time. Town was empty. The stores still closed. That's town. Looks like rectangles. What is the deal with that flying car? Is it a DeLorean? Is it time traveling? I'm thinking about this too hard again, aren't I? The road wound through the mountains. Trails led into the woods. Is Ann Jonas actually a pen name for Cormac McCarthy? Well, nothing's died a horrible death yet, so probably not. On the highway, we headed for the coast. Oh my god, sheep. This totally makes the trip worth it. Also, this is a terrible highway. Power lines run right through the middle of the road. That's some terrible planning. We must be in West Virginia. And yes, I am gradually insulting every state. Stick around, yours might be next. Blah 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 sand, blah 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 inlets, and then the city! God, took long enough, I need to find a restroom. And what is that smell coming from the back seat? And we were there. Even though I'm not really sure where there is. You know, I recall a bunch of us children getting confused at this page and thinking that it was a bunch of people walking. You know, the white space in between the spires looks like a bunch of legs walking on a black street. Evidently, everyone had peg legs. And this guy had a very low crotch. Children have weird imaginations, and this book just exemplifies that. After parking the car, we rode on the subway. Dad was talented enough to park the car on the ceiling. Then we went to a movie. Are they watching the cinematic adaptation of this book? They really will turn anything into a movie. And to the top of the tallest building, we looked down. Isn't that great? I think I see my dad. Oh, I'm getting vertigo. We watched as the sun set. Time to turn around. 
This isn't working. I think my copy is defective. Oh wait, I remember how this works. Hey, look at that. It's an illusion. So we get to the gimmicky part of this book. When turned upside down, the pictures become really disorienting. You can't look at it too closely. You're supposed to use your imagination. In some of these pictures, you really need an imagination. For instance, back on the street, we looked up at where we had been. Yeah, just ignore the cars and people lining the roofs. Those are pigeons. Coo. Shit. Son of a bitch is down there somewhere. Then we had dinner in a restaurant. A restaurant with ceiling tiles that looked like a movie audience. It's a Scandinavian design motif. It's hideous. We left the shining starlit people's legs. We looked back. Searchlights pierced the sky. We saw fireworks and stopped to watch. <sighs> Napalm rained down upon us. War had been declared. The ruins of what had been the suburbs exploded in our faces. I looked down in my lap and found goo of what had been my best friend's brains. There, I fixed your boring reality. <clears throat> we went under an expressway. It was cloudy to partially sheepish. We took the tunnel under the river. I'm not seeing a tunnel. I am seeing rectangles. This tunnel sucks. Must be Massachusetts. Ha, another one down. And finally, home again. Home. Home again. Okay, so the adult in me is a little harsh on the artwork, as Ann Jonas's background in graphic design really permeates every page. But the kid in me died of bitterness years ago, so I don't really know. Although I'm sure he still would have enjoyed this. The book captures the abstract vision we have of a bold new world, morphing unfamiliar territory into basic shapes and shades. The mundane becomes spectacular in a child's eyes, and we are left with a feeling of wonder. I'm not really doing this book any justice with my review. The style's all wrong. Need to try again from the top. I'm the Obscure, and I read Round Trip Anjonas. In this book, we go on a vacation and see power lines and bridges. Then we see the city and people's legs. But once you reach the end, you turn the book upside down, and there's a whole trip back home. At the end of the story, we reach our starting point and listen to Pink Floyd. I like this book and recommend you check it out at your local library. Even though you have no motivation to now that I showed you the last page, just like all those kids on reading Rainbow Who Spoil the End. Bastards. I give this book four stars and a quasar. Happy reading! Oh, this book makes sense now. It's a train. In the rain. Train, rain, train, rain, train, rain, train, rain. What the heck is that thing? the world. Help us. You are our only hope. A magic ring? I can get a good price for this on eBay. <laughs> <laughs>